Hello everyone, my name is Clava Blue. not really, but let's say it is, and move on to WWE Extreme Rules 2013, and my thoughts and predictions on it. I still need to find a better way to intro into these things, but anyway, let's move on. Uh, so the first match I'm going to talk about is the pre-show, which is free for everybody to view on the WWE Fan Nation YouTube channel, and I'm not being paid to say that. I'm just saying that because it's a free show on YouTube for anybody to watch, and I do recommend that you watch Raw or SmackDown, but for people that don't watch wrestling, and if you don't have pay television, watch this. Uh, it's a free half-hour show, and you might end up liking it, and you might end up wanting to watch Raw or SmackDown in whatever way you choose. But anyway, it's free. Uh, WWE Fan Nation, go out and check it out. Uh, the match is... The Miz versus Cody Rhodes. Not entirely sure why this is a match. But anyway, I'm going to say The Miz is going to win. I love his new Haters Wanted shirt. I want that shirt. Um, but yes, I'm going to say The Miz is going to win and move on to the first match. Well, it might not actually be the first match of the pay-per-view, but the first one I'm going to talk about. Y2J, Chris Jericho versus Fondango. Sorry, you just have to get the name right. If you're going to say it, you got to get it right. Anyway, I'm pretty psyched for this match between Y2J and Fandango because uh, I liked the match at WrestleMania. I liked both of these guys. I liked their quote-unquote dance-off on Raw, and I actually did air quotes as well. Um, on Raw this week, I liked it. It was cool to see Summer Rae also being used as a heel. And, yeah, who do I think is going to win? Uh, Chris Jericho... Things just seem to be in his favor, kind of, at the moment, and I think he needs a win, and I, I'm i still pretty psyched for this match, Y2J. Next match. The WWE Tag Team Championships match between the WWE Tag Team Champions, Team Hell No, Daniel Bryan and Kane, and The Shield's Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins. I'm not entirely sure who's going to win this match. The Shield technically uh, got handed their first loss on Raw this week, but that was by disqualification. So I'm not really sure whether it's going to count to whether they will win or lose at Extreme Rules. But I am going to say that the Shields, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins are going to win this match and become the next Tag Team Champions. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that just because I think the Shield needs to remain dominant and win this match. Next match is the United States Championship match between the United States Champion Kofi Kingston and the Shields, Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. Yeah. I don't know why I just sounded American there. Anyway, move on. Uh, Dean Ambrose, Kofi Kingston, United States Championship. This hasn't had any build, really. I mean, he beat him once in a match. That's about it. So I am pretty sure that Dean Ambrose was going to win this. So definitely, if the Shield wins the Tag Team Championships, Dean Ambrose will win the United States Championship. And if he doesn't, then I'm pretty sure the other ones won't because I don't think they're going to have one as a champion and the other two not being champions. Or the other way around. Um, either way, I'm going to predict Dean Ambrose because I did predict the Shield in the previous match. Um... I'm kind of psyched for this match because I want to see Dean Ambrose as the United States Champion. But there hasn't really been any build, so I'm not psyched. Psyched. More just like, I want to see Dean Ambrose win. And anyway, move on. Next match. Uh, the uh, strap match, which is not a very good thing to say over the internet. But the strap match between um, Sheamus... And the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Uh, this match, I I really liked strap matches or Texas rope matches or whatever they are. Because I thought it was a unique kind of um, match. But in this one, it doesn't seem like it's going to be that unique. It It's just, it doesn't seem that interesting to me. And I don't think this rivalry is that interesting to me. Um, I do I just don't really like Mark Henry that much either. He's alright, but he's not the greatest. And Sheamus, no matter how good he is, I don't think that he can make me interested in this match. But to make a prediction, uh, I'll say... I think Sheamus is going to find some way to beat him. Not sure how, but 
Sheamus. Next match. This match is Randy Orton versus The Big Show in no idea what match it is. I think it might be an Extreme Rules... Yeah, it is an Extreme Rules match, which... Shouldn't all matches at Extreme Rules have Extreme Rules? I mean, there should not be one where you can get disqualified. Otherwise, it's not Extreme Rules. It's just a match. Anyway, move on. Um, uh, this match, I'm still not that excited for this one either. Uh, I haven't been watching SmackDown recently because... I have been busy with other stuff, so I haven't really gotten into these rivalries because they're mainly on SmackDown rather than Raw. Um, I'm just going to say Randy Orton is going to win this one because I don't really know much about the build or anything like that, and I'll just move on. to um, oh, This match, it, it kind of sads me in a way, but it it's still a decent match. I mean, it's Alberto Del Rio versus Jack Swagger, number one contenders match, uh, I quit match. Which, uh, this was originally meant to be a triple threat ladder match with Dolph Ziggler, the World Heavyweight Champion, and it was meant to be for the World Heavyweight Championship. But unfortunately, Dolph Ziggler is unable to wrestle due to a concussion that he, uh, had at the tapings of SmackDown last week. And he's still not clear to wrestle, so, uh, I hope you get better, Dolph Ziggler. Um... As for this match, it's uh, it looks kind of interesting, uh, but usually in an I Quit match, you're always going to pick the face, because they're never going to get the face guy to say I Quit, so Alberto Del Rio is probably a clear winner in this one, and let's just move on. To John Cena versus Ryback for the WWE Championship match in a last man standing match. Uh, now, John Cena is has currently been called the King of Extreme, question mark, because he has not lost at Extreme Rules, and I doubt that he's going to lose this one either. So, I'm going to just quickly say John Cena's going to win this match. Uh, not sure how, but I'm assuming that he will. Uh, he hasn't held the title for that long, so I don't think they're going to take it from him. Uh, I'm not exactly psyched for this match, because... I'm kind of with most of the IWC, which is, this is a first for me, in saying that Ryback is just not a good heel. He's just not a good anything, really. He was a decent face, but, you know, even then, he wasn't really face, he was just not heel. Either way, John Cena's going to win this one, and for me to be done this quickly with a John Cena match, when I'm such a huge John Cena f fan, is kind of saying something, because I'm not really that psyched for this match. So, John Cena, I think, will win. And let's move on to the match that I actually give a crap about. This is probably my favorite ma uh, favorite match of the pay-per-view, seeing as they took out the ladder match uh, because of Dolph Ziggler's concussion. Hopefully, he gets better soon and will be able to wrestle um, soon. Uh, but this match is the cage match, the steel cage match between Triple H and Brock Lesnar. And this is probably the main event of the pay-per-view as well. Uh, I, this is the one I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, it's kind of fun. I like the, uh, Brock Lesnar-Triple H rivalry. It's gotten pretty good since WrestleMania as well. What with him destroying the office and whatnot. And the steel cage thing on Raw. It's just pretty good. And it's good to see, like, two people actually fighting like, like what wrestling should be about. <laughs> Rather than all this other crap. Um, but yeah, either way, I really am psyched for this match. The build has been great. It's been for a year now. This is the decider. This is where it's going to be all settled, apparently. Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, they might go to a fourth match. I I wouldn't mind it, really. Um, but anyway, who do I think is going to win? Um, I don't really know. Um... I I want Triple H to win, so I'm gonna say Triple H, because I like I kind of like Brock Lesnar, but I don't like Brock Lesnar. I dislike Brock Lesnar, but that's because he is the heel, and I just don't really see. I like him and don't like it. I, it's very mixed feelings when it comes to Brock Lesnar. Whereas Triple H, I know he's damn awesome, and he's that just he's just good, and I love him. He's awesome, and yeah, so I want Triple H to win. That's all for Extreme Rules. Uh, if you're a fan of wrestling, obviously you should be watching it. If you're not, do watch the pre-show on WWE Fan Nation. And if you 
do have the money or if you're interested, do watch the pay-per-view. Um, that's it from me. Like, comment, subscribe, whatever you like to do, as long as my name's Kulava Blue, and I will see you next time.